Hi, my name is Alyssa and I'm excited to be able to show you the amazing activity options that Usborne Books has for you. I'm going to start off with one of my kids' favorite things and that is our sticker books. So we have a lot of different types of sticker books. We, I'm going to start off with the sticker dolly dressing. These are all about girls in different scenarios. So we have sticker dolly parties here, sticker dolly sports girls, and sticker dolly on vacation. We have lots of them though, sticker dolly long ago, sticker dolly um, princess, pop stars, lots of them. Um, these are fun because what you do is you get the stickers from the middle, um, you, as you can see this my kids, <laughs> then what you do is you finish off a scene by dressing your, um, your girls. So Kelly, Hannah, and Lindsay, they all got to be um, snowboarders. So this is a really fun interactive thing, it also teaches them a little bit about the different sports um, in this book for instance. Another thing, a series that I like is a sticker dressing, but this um, deals with a lot of different things. So we have sticker dressing, emergency services, um, extreme sports, astronauts. We also have like pirates and World War I and Greek myths, Shakespeare, you name it. So these are really neat books because they go through and um, girls and boys love them because what they do is go through different time periods or different activities and they get to again fill in it with the different stickers and create pictures. And this one is very cool too, the astronaut one, because they actually learn a lot about outer space. Um, for the younger kids who maybe that's a little bit fine, um, fine detail, we have our first sticker books as well. Like we have space, we have fairies, we have circuses, we have construction sites. Um, these are great for the littlest hands. Um, the stickers are larger and they get to help finish and complete pictures. Um, as you can see here, we put a little lady coming out of the, um, flying from one section to the other section. Um, so these are really neat sticker books that also continue to help teach kids, but in a very fun way, but are larger for the little hands. We also have our sticker atlases um, right here, as well as stuff like the human body sticker books and um, the art, you can fill in art and stuff like that. So here you just would fill it in with stickers, um, very similar to the other ones. Anyway, so I love those, but one of the other things I totally love is how much we do with coloring. So for instance, we have like our Celtic patterns to color. We also have a lot of nature books to color, so you could fill in like birds or um, butterflies or all sorts of things. But our Celtic one here is also in a line. We have um, um, art, different art like from different time periods like the 30s and 40s. We have vintage fashion. We have Mexican patterns to color. So lots of different um, neat things that they can do here. We also have lots of color by number books. We have a, a very first color by number um, for younger kids, which are going to have a lot bigger spaces. But then we also have these ones here. This is uh, one of my favorites. Um, coloring is definitely coming back, even for adults. Adults are enjoying these. Um, as well as with coloring, we also have like our um, drawing books. Um, we have cute little pocket sized versions of these. I love these because you also have pocket drawing, doodling, and coloring. Um, you have pocket travel mazes. This one here is our fashion book, so they can um, become a little fashionista here and draw different, like add hair and makeup to these girls, design outfits for a casual weekend. We also have this in a very large format. Um, so these are kind of like a cross between our drawing and our doodling. And so I, I love to be able to highlight these ones here for you as well. And because doodling is such a big thing, as I said, we have that in a big format. We also have other um, books. This is our big doodling pad right here. C kids can just go through, they can doodle away. I like to make it so that, um, suggest that you can have different, ki like kids doodle one each day. Um, like maybe at the breakfast table, kind of get their mind a little bit awake before they go to school in the morning. Um, but for your kids who maybe they need a little bit more help before they start with their doodling, we have our fantastic drawing books. This one here is our step-by-step -step drawing animals. It goes through, this one's how to draw a chipmunk, how to draw a badger. So they're not just like the typical like elephant, giraffe kind of things. You have a lot of out of the box animals in here too, even a meerkat and a puffin. So the kids that come through here, they learn how to draw. Um, we also have step-by-step -step drawing people, a step-by-step -step just drawing, which teaches like castles and homes and race cars and stuff like that as well. Um, something fun about this is that, especially for kids who like to draw, we also have them in these little activity pack sets. So for instance, you would just open this up and inside it are all those different books that I was just talking about. And these are great for church time or for trips or for, you know, like in the airplane or maybe 
um, even at a restaurant. So you can just take them and you can put them, put some color pencils in here or something like that, and your kid can just walk it in like it's their very own purse. Um, anyway, so the other thing I really like is our white cleanable stuff because I like stuff I can reuse over and over again. So we have a lot of things like we have our animal doodle cards here, we have our optical illusions tin. These are some of my favorite. These are the kind of things that you can just throw in your purse and you can have them at a restaurant when you want to keep your kids quiet or maybe at um, even at like a soccer game or while you're um, going through the grocery store, you can give it to them. So right here, what I actually do is I hole punch mine and put them on a little ring. And these right here just show you all these different things. Like right here it says, draw what you think this bear has caught. So maybe you draw a fish, maybe it's a tire. Who knows what the bear caught, right? Um, so anyways, they just finish off different little scenes and you can just wipe them off and reuse them over again. Um, we have lots of um, wipe clean type books too. So we have like pen control, beginning pen control, ready for writing. We have mazes, um, telling time, all sorts of different things. These are just wipeable books again that can be reused over and over again, which I love. Um, the last couple, I only have a few more here to show you. This is gonna be one of my longer videos just because there's so many amazing activity things. We have fingerprint activities, as you can see right here. Um, they just can take, put their little fingers on here, and then they can start creating their own bugs. They can create, they can become candy, um, ice cream, heads, whatever. Um, the nice part of this is even when this book is filled up, they can still go back to it and reference it for using it for ideas for their own thing. We have a cupcake kit, which I totally love, that has a great cookbook that you can use for um, for cooking. They have um, over 20 um, recipes, but even if you're gluten-free and stuff like that, you can reuse it. Um, let's see here. Sorry. Okay, next I'm going to show you the Press Out Paper Town. Okay, this is super fun. This right here is, um, you, can, they're, you can see that they're uh, double-sided. You pop them out. And you get to construct a little town with your kids and you can have little people going through it. You can build a town hall, a little flower shop, a market. Um, this is totally adorable and very, just like very fun and interactive way to, um, kind of like you can also play with um, matchbox cars. You can totally have matchbox cars, like live at these houses. Totally love that. And the last thing I wanna do is I just want to remind you, if you haven't already looked at the video, is our castle, which we also have a Victorian dollhouse that is very similar. Um, but I talked about the Victorian dollhouse, I mean, about the castle in um, a video earlier showing my kids making it. But this is one of my favorite activity items that we have. So I know that was really, really long. Thank you for hanging in there with me. Post beneath what is your favorite activity item that I showed. Have a great day.